Hey guys, Matthew here. Today I'm going to do a Pilates Reformer arms workout. And you can see or feel the way Pilates Reformer can help your arms or reduce pain in your neck and shoulders. So if you start with two or three springs on, then start on your back. I like to start arms with Pilates style arm work. So if you draw your legs up to tabletop, pull your straight arms forward, and we'll go through the checkpoints together. So you've got your neutral position in your back. You got your scoop in your abs. You got your shoulder, your rib cage down, under control, shoulders down, and arms straight. And then you're just pulling those arms forward and pulling them upwards deliberately. Now your second shape is V-shaped arms going up and out. And now you're pulling with the chest muscles. You want to feel like a star of strength where your chest and your abs work together and feel control and stability in that spot. And the next one is T-shape on the arms, as we're calling them arms at the diagonals. Now on this one, keep the back of that neck long and feel the pull from your scapula, your shoulder blades first, and then with the arm muscles, with those lat muscles. See if you can feel scapula first, then the arms. And if you're feeling good, let's go on into backstroking circles. Now you can stretch those legs straighter out. Keep stability at the shoulders. And what you want to do is scoop under these circles. Like you're scooping up an armful of sand at the beach. Scoop. And then pull those arms into your side. You can tuck those legs in. And triceps flexing and extending. Now when you sculpt arms, we'll go over that later, we have another video on sculpting the arms. But when you pull those arms, you want to pull those shoulders down. Then externally rotate your arms. So your palms are basically turning upwards towards the ceiling. And in that, you're flexing and extending the triceps with that extra angle gets you that sculpting benefits. And we're back into T-shaped arms. We'll finish with angles. Curling up, pulling in, tucking in, pulling out. And go exhale, kick, curl, pull, inhale, back. Exhale, kick, curl, pull, inhale, back. One, hold it up there and pump those arms. Great, we like to do about 40 out of 100, so let's do those 40s. Two, three, four. Inhale, two, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, four, five. Last one, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And tuck and down. Ooh. So that's Pilates style arm work on your back. If you'll curl up and off your reformer, we'll move on to arms floating. The next series that's great for your arms is kneeling abs and then floating abs. And these moves are going to ask for straight and stable arms. So if you spring down, you want two springs on. <clears throat> then you'll put your wrists in a designed position on the foot bar. And we're going to be do, we're going to start off doing the move kneeling abs. One. Now, where you want to put your wrist is very specific. You want to put about 75% of your tension on your ulna bone, and about 25% uh, of the tension on the radius bone, so that you can actually have your wrist almost completely in a neutral position. You want to be able to have hands wide, and you're not gripping that bar. And that's really important to help you keep your grip reflex out of these moves. All right, now we're doing the move. Kneeling abs one, 
extending through the glutes, flexing in while holding the arm stable. And you might think, how's this an arm smith? Well, wait just a second. Extend those hips and hold them there. Now you pull yourself up with your arms and push back with your arms. This is kneeling abs too. While you're doing this move, go through your checkpoints. You got your glutes, you got your scoop, you got your back in its stacked or even slightly extended position. You got that rib cage under control. You got those shoulders down. And then your shoulders are downwardly rotating to pull yourself up and upwardly rotating to push yourself back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Once you feel good about that move, tuck those legs in. Bring yourself up and home. Cool, that's kneeling abs one and two. And those prepare you, or if you're an instructor, those can help your students clear the checkpoints to make sure that they can do jackrabbits and piking. Now, if you want to go into floating abs moves, Floating abs are simply the same techniques, just lifted up. You can start with jackrabbits, same wrist setup. Hands slightly wider than the shoulders, 75% on the olden bones, 25% on the radius bones. Keeping that neutral position, back of that neck nice and long. Pushing and pulling with the legs. Inhale as you press out. Exhale as you tuck in. Now the last jackrabbit starts you in supermans. Now legs stay straight and strong, and then you push out with those arms, Ooh, and then you pull in. Now you wanna keep that, oh, that push-up plank position the whole time with your core and your posture muscles. Push out, pull in. Really feel those shoulder stabilizers. Stable in the rib cage. <sighs> Stable in the lower body. <sighs> Push out. Keep your length. <sighs> then pull all the way in and down. Great, so there's a variety of floating abs moves that you can do from Jackrabbit and Superman's up into piking, twisted pikes, twisted tucks, etc. Let's keep moving on as to what else the arms can do in Pilates. Your seated arm work facing rear is a great series. The trick is, can you sit and stack? You've got to be able to win your stack. If you can't sit and stack flat, then you want to be on the box for this next seated arm series. So if you just start off your arm work series with rollbacks, imprinting, flexing backwards, and then flexing forwards, that can get you a feel of just rolling, getting those abs going, and then we'll layer on into the arms. Now roll back, stay back, and then work those biceps. Flex and extend those arms, biceps with the arms turned out. Now you can have, you wanna be real deliberate with your hands. I like to use a claw grip on Pilates straps. If you wanna do fingers together, that's fine. If you wanna grip the straps, that's fine. You know, anything is fine really here as long as it's deliberate. And biceps with the arms turned in. Now you've, now you've still, still got, got your, your flexed flex spine, spine position. This, this should feel good on your back. back. If it doesn't, you can always stack or just find where it feels right for you. All right, last one. And then we're gonna stack it up. Now, straight back, keep your stack as you hinge, hinge backwards. And hinge upwards. Now keep your stack as we do the move, buys and tries. You want to hinge halfway back, stay there, then reach both arms out, 
flex, flex one up, up and pull the other one back. back. Now, now keep, keep your stack. stack. Keep, keep growing, growing this move up, up nice, nice and tall. And, tall. <sighs> and feel, feel the length in that and down, down arm. arm. You feel, feel the strength, the strength in that upper arm. arm. If you want to add a little twist of your body, you can twist into it. You can send those arms out a bit wider. And three, two, one. Good. Roll yourself on up. There's a couple more great arm smooth, but you want to spring down to just one spring. Now these are more these are mobility, more mobility moves. moves. The, the next, next move, move is blooming blooming shoulders. shoulders. So, so you'll start, start this move flexed flex forward, forward. Hands, yeah, arms, arms in at parallel. parallel. Then you, then you stack, stack, press, press overhead, overhead, and bloom, and bloom those, those arms, arms around. around. Flexing, Flexing forward, forward stacking, stacking and extending up and backwards, backwards. and then floating those arms through. So you go one, inhale up, exhale around. Inhale up, exhale around. Inhale up, exhale around. And that's one of our babies in here, Blooming Shoulders. The next one is Pilates style rowing. You want to grip those straps, roll back, take a breath. On your exhale, forward fold and pull the arms back and then stroke those arms around. So you go inhale up, exhale imprint, roll back. Take a breath, exhale forward fold, pull the arms back, butterfly stroke melting around. Bend your knees enough to make this move comfortable in the back of your neck and in the backs of your shoulders. Keep winning that forward fold and stroke those arms around. One more rowing, roll back, take a breath, forward fold, pull back, and butterfly stroke around. So there's a few seated arms moves. Oops, let's do one more, let's do rear delt flies. Rear delt flies is a great move that we took out of the gym and moved it onto the reformer. So if you start rear delt flies with your roll back, arms straight. Then you stack straight up, rotate the arms outwards, then roll back as you float the arms forwards. I believe this move is in our arm sculpting on the reformer video. So if you want to check that one out, you can see some more details about RDFs. Now the stacked position you got your stack straight up, then you got your arms at that 90-90 angle, externally rotating and retracting the shoulder blades. It's a great little shoulder uh, rotator cuff drill. If you stay on it, keep stacking, keep extending the thoracic spine and just keep pumping that rotation open more. Oh, more, oh, more. Oh, and you can relax it. You want to make sure on that move, you don't demand that the arm comes behind your spine. So wherever your stack is, that's where your arm, that's where your forearm would even get to, not back behind yourself. So those are some seated arms moves and I'm working up a sweat. Let's keep going on kneeling arms. So if you put a second spring on, you've got two springs depending on what you like. Now you can do your kneeling arms moves. So a lot of people teach kneeling arms up against the bumpers. I don't like to because the straps are too short and it reduces your need to balance. But you just set up your balance position and you can do your kneeling arms moves. Starting with something easy like biceps curls. You got bys and tries. You can do pretty much any arms move, bloom and shoulders, out of the kneeling position, which really amps it up. Rear delt flies. Okay. 
Well, let's get on to a couple of unique ones that we can that we didn't do seated. One is called chest expansion. Chest expansion is a really powerful move. You want to start flexing forward with the arms floating forward. Then you pull your straight arms back as you stack up. Flex forward, floating forward. Stacking up. Pulling the arms back. Ooh, a little heavy. Flexing forward, floating forward. Stacking up, pulling the arms back. Cut. So you can do arm work in a variety of ways. Another way you can do it is kneeling. Keep the same one spring on that you had for Pilates style rowing and let's do our chest expansion. Now a lot of teachers will teach this up against the bumpers. I don't like it so much because it reduces your need to balance. It's good to feel this balancing with those thighs free. Now this move, chest expansion, you wanna start flex, shoulders floating, protract it forward. Then you stack up, retract the shoulders, and pull the straight arms back. That extra layer is the pull with the turnout. And when you do that, you really strengthen that third head of that triceps and those rotator cuffs. So stack, pull, reach. You wanna stack, pull. Keep the back of that neck nice and long. So you got your stack, you got your shoulders, you got your rib cage, ugh, and all the way down to your glutes and your scoop. Ugh. And inhale up, exhale, reach. And the last one, real nice and classical. Turn the head, turn the head to the center and release it. And aside from the rear facing arms, we've also got side kneeling arms. Some famous moves include overhead press. If you'll turn towards your strap, stack side bend and press. Now this is taught differently everywhere, but if you stack and side bend over and then press straight up, I think that's a little bit better. If you try to press at a side bending angle itself, you lose a little of your force. Another great one is drawing the sword. You reach across, twist down, and stack pull twist, and extend the arm. This is such a great move. Stack pull twist, extend the arm. And then you can side bend into your shoulder block. Ooh, and just isolate that tricep. Ooh, that's a burner. I'm on one red spring right now. A lot of our members do this just on a yellow or a blue though. And that's your triceps extension. Now, if you want a little more athletic um, feeling to your moves, you can do your split lunge kneeling technique. And what you split lunge, try to stay parallel still, but split lunge and do your move like overhead press. So stack, side bend, and press. Stack, side bend, and pull. This takes a lot more stability it really goes beyond classical, but you can um, add that in as another layer like for, um, for more advanced members. Another great split lunge move. You know what? I'm just going to shoot a split lunge video. We'll keep going on arms. So you've got kneeling moves. Kneeling of chest expansion, biceps, overhead press, draw a sword, work in the triceps. Then you can work your arms kneeling facing the rear of the machine. We like to use stickies. If you have a balanced body reformer, you can use your rails. If you're on a studio reformer, then you'll have to use the very, very outside of the rails or get you some 
some docks that go on the far end of the carriage. But uh, kneeling, arm, uh, kneeling abs and arms facing rear definitely puts a lot more tension on the shoulder stabilizers. If you just set up for your vanilla kneeling abs rear, you'll feel, my phone, you'll feel shoulders really getting tested and with their stability. So what you want to do is pull those shoulders, wrap those shoulders down. You want to get on those wrist bones just like you uh, have in the past 75, 25, and then squeeze like you're squeezing both down into the rails and you're squeezing the rails together. And then that's what's going to give you the stability in those shoulders. And we've got a move we call three point slide. So you pull the legs back, push the arms back, and then whoo, pull your legs and arms together. So you go legs back, arms back, pull legs and arms together. This one is massive for the shoulder stabilizers. Arms back, pull together. And then the last thing that kneeling arms rear is so great for is anything done out of a push-up position. So you can build your push-up position here with very little tension on your wrists. <clears throat> you, want, you want thumbs tracking up the rail. Then you can lift and tuck like a mountain climber, hike. And all these require real shoulder stability and arm strength too. Twisted tucks, twisted pikes, and you can stretch back into a shell stretch. The last great arms, arms work you can do on the carriage is facing front. If you go up to two springs, the reformer is such a great chest pressing tool. And you can be in your kneeling position or your kneeling split lunge. But this really can help you organize and strengthen your chest muscles. So you got straps and hands, kneeling position, and then when you're pressing, the angle is low to high. So hands finish higher than they start, but your shoulders stay low. So you're actually keeping wrapping your shoulder blades down as you press the arms straighter. Pull them together, then out, arcing back. This is the chest press. You want to press actually with your scapula first, your shoulder blades. Feel those scapula glide, then the arms, the triceps press, then pull back 90 degrees. Peck fly is done with constantly bent arms. So you can flex and extend. Now you can stay out, uh, you can stay stacked or you can add in some spine flexion, fly, extension, open, flexion, fly, extension, open. That feels really good. <sighs> then you have an awesome little split lunge bowling move. We've been playing with some more moves mm -hmm. out of split lunge in our more advanced classes. And we really like this guy. But if you turn with the move, it's gonna twist and pull open and turn back, close it up. So you go under and close it up. Under and close it up. And then you can always do that punching press as well. 
Oh, gotta keep that balance. Oh, twisting and punching around. All right, I'm gonna sign off there, but you even up those arms and you'll have a good Pilates style reformer, Pilates reformer style arm workout. Hope you enjoy some of the new moves. Check my technique on the old moves and send me a message if you ever wanna talk about Pilates, I love to. All right, have a great day. See you next time.